Nowadays, Portal speedruns can finish the entire game in under 6 minutes. However, if you watch them, you'll notice they often don't use the latest version available on Steam. Instead, speedrunners down patch to exploit patched glitches or unique behaviors of older versions. The most popular among speedrunners is Build 5135. This version was the last one before Valve updated Portal for compatibility with Steam Pipe, which happened to change how portals are placed when the game needs to move or bump them into place. On the other hand, high level portal any percent speedrunners use an even older version from 2008, build 3420. This particular version predates the restriction of out of bounds movement, which allows speedrunners to skip a 20 second long wait in Chamber 02, a huge time save in an already short speedrun. Although these versions may already seem perfect for speedrunning, there's more to the story and it involves radios. In 2010, Valve introduced the Transmission Received achievement as part of an alternate reality game event leading up to the release of Portal 2. After completing the game, 26 additional radios spawn in the chambers. Speedrunners leverage these extra props for specific tricks. Around the same time, Valve patched the free out of bounds movement, forcing a choice between versions with the free out of bounds movement or ones with the extra radios. However, based on evidence from YouTube videos dating back to 2010, it's believed that the very first version Valve added the transmission received achievement on March 1st, 2010, known as version 4104, still retains free out of bounds movement. This unique property makes it the holy grail of Portal speedrunning versions. Unfortunately, version 4104 remains elusive and may be lost to history forever. Our recent search for this version has been ongoing for about a year, but there's evidence of people looking for it as early as six years ago. Despite scouring internet archives and old forums, nothing has surfaced. SteamDB only dates back to post-SteamPipe versions, and the Steam 2 chunk archive only contains versions as late as 2009. In our desperation, we even reached out to Valve, but they've said that they don't archive versions before SteamPipe was introduced. If you're a Portal enthusiast, here's how you can contribute. If you have an old install of Portal, check your game version by enabling the developer console and settings, open it, and type the command version. If by chance you possessed version 4104, refrain from updating your game and reach out to us by joining the Portal speedrunning Discord. Together, let's unearth this lost gem and Maybe we can elevate portal speedrunning to new heights.